In the dead of night, with the flag of his nation draped round his neck, Pastor Evan Marawiri is released from Zimbabwe's toughest jail. It may be a brief taste of freedom. It is a tragedy and a shame that this is where we are as a, as a nation. This man of God is accused by his government of subverting the state. People are struggling in life and we can't just sit and watch this. He called for peaceful protest. Violence and a brutal crackdown followed. A dozen dead, more than a thousand arrested. Now he's out on bail after two weeks in Zimbabwe's feared top security prison. In a cell, nine by about four or five meters, and there's 53 of us that I've never seen the kind of injuries that I saw um, in prison. He wanted to tell us of the horrors he witnessed. There's a young man, an 18-year-old young man with a broken leg. Soldiers and police beat him and jumped on the leg and threw boulders onto his leg. It is agonizing to hear grown men cry out of pain from wounds that they received during this time. What's going on? Security forces have been accused of torture, children among the victims. There was a 15-year-old and there were two 16-year-olds. They, they were lashed on their backs uh, and on their legs um, and uh, 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 you know, slapped around. The crackdown continues. We filmed the destruction of an opposition neighborhood in the capital. And in the courts, the first of hundreds of prosecutions are underway. Those convicted here face long years behind bars. Zimbabwe's flirtation with freedom appears to be over. Scores of activists are in hiding or exile. We met Moenda and Robson at a secret location. Both fear for their lives. I don't want to expose myself out there because my head will be on a chopping block. They think they'll kill you? Definitely they will. Pastor Evans says it is worse now than the years of Robert Mugabe's rule. The sense may be let's pull back and let's shrink back. I really want to encourage Zimbabweans to stand strong, that we can't lose our voice. We lost it before. We can't lose it again. But if he's found guilty, he faces 20 years in jail as Zimbabwe slides back into the darkness. John Ray, News at 10, Harare.